You should know what it takes to start a scalable drone business, and you need to know three reasons why now is a good time to actually start a drone business. My name is Paul, and I've been teaching drone pilots for 10 years. I've also had a side business on top of DroneU, where I'm actually flying drones and doing drone jobs. I've seen a lot of these videos, and I just wanna go over and give you information on what you should know. Because in all honesty, here at DroneU, we're being asked almost on a weekly basis to provide provide quality drone pilots to these drone jobbing companies. Oftentimes they're having a hard time finding good people who are great at conflict management, they have an attention to detail, and they can follow a checklist. I know, so I wanna to talk to you about what it takes to actually start a drone business and what it actually takes skills-wise, because if there's three things that you can do, you can literally overtake all the competition very easily. It's just gonna take time and practice. So look, when it comes to being a drone pilot, pilot. Many people do it as a side hustle. Many people do it as a full-time business. Now, you can make really good money as a drone pilot, but you're not going to do that flying real estate videos. I'm sorry, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Um, there's a lot of great information here on YouTube, and some people are saying they charge between $120 and $600 for a real estate video. The cheapest I've ever charged for a real estate video was $3,200. So it's not about real estate videos as a whole, but more so the audience that you're going after. Are you going after luxury ranches, luxury estates, etc.? Places where it's harder to get people to go out to the real estate subject, the actual house itself. Those are gonna pay much higher jobs. So I wanna give you information based off of experience because honestly, I am really driven to help people like you, people who want the no BS, no fluff, no politicized real information of what it takes to be a drone pilot. Now that said, the third scenario that I've seen, the most successful scenario that I've seen are people who take their existing jobs and augment that with a drone. Because let's be honest, turning your passion into profit with drones is a lot of fun. It gets you outside. So you get a lot of you know, nature time, you get a lot of exercise, a lot of vitamin D. There are a lot of pros to being a drone pilot. It's oftentimes just discerning which vertical that you want to be in to fulfill either your creative desires or maybe you're more systematic, you want that routine, you want that scalable revenue, which is why I really wanted to make this video. There are great drone jobs and then there are scalable drone jobs, which I wanna give you that right information. So. Let's talk really quick. What are the three reasons why now is actually a really good time to you know, get your drone business going or to get it growing. Look, number one is that the infrastructure bill most recently launched requires that companies not only index, but inspect infrastructure assets. This could be roads, bridges, communications, towers, power, utilities. In all in all, we are seeing our biggest enterprise customers are getting into two fields. One is utility inspections and two is cell tower inspections. So when the federal government is spending money to get you these jobs, you should take them up. Number two, natural disasters are gaining steam. What does this mean? This means whenever it hails or whenever there's disasters, which sucks, oftentimes insurance companies, adjusters, the federal government, FEMA, they need maps and models of these areas to essentially notate a deviation from when a property was good to when it's bad. And honestly, that ortho mosaic, that information can provide a lot of value to them. And the more natural disasters that there are, the more emergency funding that there is, and the more drone jobs that go out, mostly through these large scale drone service providers, okay? Number three, why right now is a great time to get more serious about your drone business or to get it going is that the maturity of the industry. Many people understand the value of drones, but there's been a lot of haphazard drone use. People who just bought a drone, they're doing it for a friend, and they never really take it too far. They never take it too seriously. If you go into this business, and you do these three things, you will be more successful than every other drone pilot. Number one, you have an attention to detail and you take it seriously from the start. Don't think of these as toys. I want you to think of these as aircraft. That's what the FAA thinks of them. Why is this important? Pilots have a manned aircraft ideology. It's an ideology that you always have redundancy, that you're always prepared, and no matter what, you're able to problem solve and figure things out without freaking out. If you take that mentality, you will be successful. Point number two, you have to practice. If you can fly super smooth shots that are complex, so not just orbits, but like orbits that tilt as the drone ascends, if you can do these shots slowly and smoothly, you're better than 90% of the people out there. Now, if you can fly those 
slow and smooth shots at speed, meaning you're tracking a car or a boat for a scene, guess what? You're gonna get more work. If you can take that skill and go to flying Cinewhoop and doing indoor drone tours, you're gonna skip the $200 jobs and go right to the $5,000 jobs because that takes innately way more skill to pull off those one-shot jobs. You have to practice all the time. You are only as good as your best work or your most recent work. So if you're always flying and you're always practicing and you're flying in different environments, so that way you know the different problems that are gonna come up, you will be successful. And lastly, you have to have systems of operation. Things like what we teach here at Drone U, things like the battery test, so you never have an in-flight power emergency, okay? We also go over systems of how to avoid emergencies, like how to stop a flyaway. Why? Do you really wanna have an emergency in front of a client? Do you really wanna freak out in front of a client? Chances are you'll lose that client for life. So we wanna give you all the information that's systematized and delivered just for your needs. So it's exactly what you need to know and nothing else. I've run a full-time drone business outside of DroneU and I have filmed all sorts of drone jobs. So I want to make sure that we go over what it actually takes to run a drone business and what are good drone jobs and what are bad drone jobs. Okay, so first of all, let's go over equipment and let's be really, really honest. Let's talk about the MVP, not the most valuable player, not the most valuable drone, because in all honesty, uh, that drone, the Toyota Camry, the Honda Civic of drones, it is still the Phantom 4 Pro version two. You can map with it, you can use many different applications. You can also film action sports because it shoots 4K 60, it shoots slow-mo, it has attitude modes, so you can track moving subjects with with ease. Honestly though, I don't want to focus on that drone because in the reality, it's hard to get that drone. It's hard to get batteries. There are many great drones, but when we talk about MVPs, let's talk about the minimum viable product. So seriously, there are so many drone jobs that you can do with a mini three pro and there's two reasons you know it's going to shoot decent photos most people consume media on their phone so this is sufficient you're not going to get the super complex motions but you can shoot portrait videos so you can upsell all of your work very easily by offering portrait videos okay now in all honesty i love the mavic 3 enterprise because this has attitude mode it can do mapping it has third-party applications finally but in all honesty this is a great all-around drone and it's a low barrier to entry as far as price point. Now I've seen other videos. Russ, I love, 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 love how you recommended the Mavic 2 Pro to people. We have a video on how to hack the Mavic 2 Pro to get the most out of it. And in all honesty, the Mavic 2 Pro is still one of my favorite drones to capture amazing panos of various areas. Let me show you some here. I've actually sold prints of my panos to dozens of clients and it's personally my favorite drone media. I can't really shoot great panos with this. It doesn't have enough zoom but the Mavic 2 Pro is a really great drone overall, and it's a cheaper one that you can buy on eBay. You can buy them used. Before you ever buy a used drone, make sure you ask the person to have a screenshot with each battery plugged in for how many times that battery has been cycled. Then you're actually gonna know what you're getting, okay? Here's the great thing, when you own a drone business, which can be a sole proprietorship, it can also be an LLC. Um, you can even have it registered in a different state if you want, like Nevada, Wyoming, or Delaware. Highly recommend that. When you start to buy equipment and you use them for jobs, these all become write-offs. So you always hear you know, companies talk about all their write-offs. I'm sure you've heard political things of like, oh, these companies pay no taxes because of their write-offs. Well, let's be honest. Okay, we are in a consumerism society. It is capitalism. That means that our economy is driven by people spending money. The IRS wants to incentivize you for legitimate expenses in your business because you are growing the economy. So as soon as you buy all of these drones and maybe a camera, maybe a phone gimbal, so that way you can capture great epic aerials and ground footage just with your phone, guess what? It's all a write-off. Okay, so this is where your passion turns into profit and then becomes a write-off to lower your tax liability. Now let's talk succinctly. What does it take to actually have a drone business? Obviously you need a part 107 certificate. This is what the FAA gives to you so that 
they've proven and you've proven to them that you know how to safely access the airspace. It's primarily about, you know, learning airspace, learning weather and operational limitations. It's really that simple. How do you know if you're ready to pass the 107? Look, you can get 107 test prep wear uh, in many different places. I've actually taught most of my competitors, believe it or not. You can get stuff from us. Other people have great 107 stuff. That's not our focus because just like a driver's license doesn't actually teach you how to drive, a part 107 certificate does not actually teach you how to fly, which is why harmless self-promotion here, you can gain access to part 107 classes from us, but also 47 other classes to teach you how to turn your toy into a tool and your passion into profit. If you want to do that, it's only $57 a month and you get 107 and all those courses included. But that's not the point. If you get 90% on my quizzes or anyone's quizzes that are actually real questions from the FAA examination and also updated because they updated the pool just last month and we just added a 120 questions into our question pool. So if you want the most up-to-date questions, check out our stuff. Once you get 90% on all those quizzes, you will pass the in-person test with flying colors. It really is not that hard. Just remember, the FAA has never taught people how to fly. They've just taught people how to understand regulations, which is important to understand because that 107 is not going to teach you how to fly. If you want to learn experience information and you want to lower that learning curve, check out our operations class, which really takes a lot of the BS out and teaches you exactly what you need to know to avoid emergencies, but also get the most out of your drone and get those smooth shots. Once you get your part 107, you're gonna need liability coverage. You're gonna need drone insurance. There's many different options out there from droneinsurance.com to Skywatch, Global Aerospace, uh, Costello Aviation down in Arizona. Just understand there's two types of policies. There's a liability policy, which covers you if you hurt someone else or break something else or break someone else's stuff. And then there's hull insurance. So if I damage my drone for whatever reason, the hull insurance is gonna give me money to buy a new drone. Most crashes pretty much destroy the drone, especially on these Mavics where the gimbal is so, so, so sensitive. You're gonna want that insurance, especially if you don't have the DJI, uh, you know, uh, what is it called, DJI Care uh, package and whatnot. You really want drone insurance. For certain types of drone jobs, working on set, power line utility inspections, you're gonna need a higher liability premium. I believe the liability coverage that you're going to need is at least going to be a $2 million CSL, not a one. So that's important to know. If you actually attend in-person training at DroneU, we can even get you educational discounts on your insurance as well by proving that you are a safe pilot. Let's recap this. Takes 107, you gotta get insurance, but you also need to know how to actually fly. If you practice flying, have attention to detail, deal well with conflict, you can literally supersede 90% of the competition in this industry. I'm not kidding. Now that you've gotten all this together, you actually need to work on your business. As a part of that library of courses, we have an entire business course that teaches you how to set up your business from the start. You need to think when you're starting your business at scale, not just, oh, I'm gonna go do some real estate jobs and do this and the, that and the other. You need to think about what is the client workflow or the client navigation from when you attract a client with your website to sell them on services to deliver those services and then keep them in the newsletter and continue building your website so it's easy and convenient for people to find you. Well, guess what? You should automate all of that. And we have an entire course on how you can automate all of that. That way you can focus on what you love doing, which is going out and flying. If you operate in a scalable automation setting, all you have to do every single week to continue to drive business is practice flying, capture a photo of yourself, a nice little selfie with your drone while it's flying, and showcase a unique value statement, something that does, someone doesn't know, and you're gonna post it on social media. In addition, you turn that into a blog post. Because honestly, the secret of getting drone jobs is twofold. Organic SEO, AKA someone is searching for something and they're searching for Cincinnati drone pilot or Fargo, North Dakota drone pilot. Okay, what's gonna pop up? It's gonna be the website that has the most backlinks and blog posts that showcases what they do and why they're good at it in their area without saying I'm good at it, okay? 
So with that said, in order to drive a scalable business, you need a great website and you need a plan that's gonna last 12 to 18 months. Okay, as someone who's run a drone business outside of DroneU and had DroneU at the same time, I have made a six figure income multiple years in a row outside of DroneU. So it is possible. And honestly, it really comes down to how confident you are at your flying skills and then how confident that you can become in selling those skills, which, if you need help with that, if you become a DroneU member, you can join us for our monthly coaching calls where we actually help you on that stuff. So we've talked about building your business. We've talked about what you need from the FAA insurance. We've talked about your website. As a small business owner, you have to wear lots of hats, which is why it's so important to automate these aspects of your business so you can keep your business going and growing. Which last thing I will say is that you need to create promotional material for yourself. I use vistaprint.com. I've used it for 15 years. I absolutely love it. Don't cheap out on your business cards, cheap out on everything else, okay? Because Let's be honest, first impressions are everything. And when you hand someone a nice business card, you're gonna get an instantaneous reaction. Take it from me and experience. So again, honestly, every week you're practicing flying, you're posting on social media, those social media posts turn into a blog post. And this is how you create that snowball of automating your business and automatically getting business, okay? So let's talk about the best drone jobs and the worst drone jobs, okay? The worst drone jobs. Residential roof inspections, we used to call them the drone-based jobs. They now pay more because we're in a different stage of the industry. And then real estate jobs are, in all honesty, the worst drone jobs, okay? Why? With the current real estate market, you have prices that are continuing to climb, interest rates that are continuing to climb, and you have a supply that is very low. Even though the demand has been coming down, supply is still very fundamentally low. In Keynesian economics, we can always understand price discovery when we understand the balance between how many sellers there are and how many buyers there are. Currently, there's uh, not a lot of buyers in the real estate market, which means it's gonna be hard for you to break in. And in all honesty, you don't want real estate jobs. Uh, realtors can often be hard, they can be hard to work with, okay? Now, if you're a drone pilot and you happen to be a realtor, you have a crazy, crazy competitive advantage against uh, your competitors, which is really cool, but they're hard to break into, they don't pay well. Honestly, it's great paid practice. Another drone job that has great promise but never actually delivers are stock photos and videos. I have uh, five different students and that's all that they do. And they told me it took three to five years to actually start earning more than $5,000 a month and actually make it worth something. In all honesty, when you can make $5,000 on a ranch job, why would you ever wanna spend all your time trying to hack that system? So I don't really think that it's, it's that great. Real estate is primed for a slowdown. Once the Federal Reserve starts lowering rates, it's gonna be like letting the rubber band go and the demand for homes is gonna skyrocket. Real estate jobs are gonna come back at scale. But if you really want real estate jobs that pay well, you need to learn to fly Cinewhoop, okay? So that you can actually fly through homes and do that one shot wonder, one take wonder shot, because those actually pay fairly well. Just understand that Anyone who talks about drone jobs, pros or cons, everyone has value to add. But you need to be specific about what kind of real estate jobs. Again, because if I'm shooting a $12 million home, charging $3,000 is a drop in the bucket for that realtor, it's no big deal. Now, if I'm only shooting $500,000 houses, I'm gonna have to do something to stand apart and make money, AKA that's where we get into uh, in indoor drone tours, which if you haven't followed indoor drone tours on Instagram, I'm not sponsored by them. I think they make epic content. You should definitely check it out. So let's talk about scalable jobs. What are scalable jobs? These are jobs that build recurring revenue that have you go out weekly, monthly, biannually. These are jobs that keep paying off, okay? Because one of the biggest issues that I see with drone pilots and pricing their work is they only price for the time that it takes to fly. They don't charge for the time that it takes to edit their videos, edit their photos, edit their ortho mosaics, or edit their drone maps, okay? 
So understand that typically acquisition time or the time that you fly is gonna represent about 20% of the overall job as a whole, okay? That's really important to know. So let's talk about great scalable drone jobs, okay? Construction jobs are great. It's progression photos, it's videos. You don't typically have to do editing unless it's a client that is direct to you and you're not working through what I would call a macro DSP, drone service provider that have thousands of drone pilots that get you construction jobs all the time. In that scenario, you do not have any processing. So it's really good to get your feet wet in those jobs and get them under your belt, get the practice. But when you work for these drone service providers, you need to be prepared. Don't show up in a Prius or a Toyota Corolla when you need to drive 20 miles down a dirt road in order to fly a cell tower. Okay, you wanna make sure that you've got ND filters for your drones, at least five batteries, a way to charge in the field, and most likely four wheel drive. Just understand that your propensity to get drone jobs is gonna be dependent on your preparation that you've had yourself. Solar inspections are another great one. We've got an entire podcast on Ask Drone You with Glenn LeBay about how he made, I think it was 80 or $90,000 a year in just doing solar inspections. Again, another drone job that doesn't have a lot of processing. Okay, right now we have requests from four drone jobbing companies and I'm gonna give you that information so that you can go out and get drone jobs right now, but they're only hiring super highly qualified people. So make sure that you're prepared. Otherwise you're gonna waste an opportunity that will not come up again. Okay, cell tower inspections are huge, but you'll need to be ready to fly four or five per day. That means very detail oriented. That means a high rate of follow through. And that means that you're okay being on the road and oftentimes alone. I love that, but that's just me. So check out these companies for drone jobs. We got Fly Guys, we got 5x5 AI, we've got Cyberhawk, okay? We've also got Drone Link, which is a great one for solar inspections. I would recommend setting up your business on as many databases as possible. So that way when people are looking for drone jobs in Fargo, okay, your article pops up about what drone pilots should know in Fargo, North Dakota, okay? It's also a great idea if, if you wanna learn drone mapping because a lot of these scalable jobs like cell tower inspections, utility inspections, half the time it's just inspection photos, other time it's mapping. When you understand mapping and you understand the relationship between acquiring photos and processing photos, oftentimes you're gonna be able to solve problems that other people can't because there's a huge bifurcation from people who process data and people who fly data. So just wanna make sure that you understand that. Popular high revenue drone jobs, um, albeit these take the most skill, is fly through tours, luxury properties, Airbnb properties, and resort marketing. In my drone career over the last 11 years, I've done real estate jobs, ranch jobs, wake surfing videos, boat commercials, car commercials, Netflix productions, movies, documentaries, utility inspections. I've done roof inspections. I've done it all. Not all, but I've done a lot of it. And I, it's given me an opportunity to understand if I like doing creative jobs or technical jobs, at the end of the day, you want scalable jobs. So if you love creating small business videos, marketing videos, social media videos, which is a great way to make money with your drone, again, Mavic 3 Pro, right? Well, what you're gonna wanna do is set up recurring revenue jobs or jobs that are on retainer, meaning that you offer to provide 12 short form videos per month for a period of 12 months. Those are the contracts that are gonna set you up for continued long-term success, okay? I just wanna say this last two. I can't press this enough that we get asked all the day for quality drone pilots because honestly, it, a lot of these enterprise customers understand where quality pilots come from. That said, there's a massive opportunity right now, ladies and gentlemen. Seriously, if you can be tenacious, detail oriented, follow through and you're practicing all the time to fly low, close and smooth, you will get the jobs that no one else can actually get. They may say they're able to get them in reality, not so much, okay? If you understand that concept, you seriously will succeed. I promise you'll succeed. You can do this. It's just, you have to answer the question, are you intrinsically motivated? Are you really going to put in the time? And so you have to remember your why all the time. Why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I get to be outside, I get to do something I love and have the independence and freedom for a life that is gonna give me a work-life balance. Okay, whatever it is for you, just understand you put in the time and effort and it will pay off. 
Lastly, I just wanna say shameless plug for DroneU. If you wanna learn more about our business course, which you can literally run your business from your phone, you wanna learn from our operations course for the systems of flying every single time, uh, or if you wanna uh, you know, know the best settings for these drones and how to apply them to turn your passion into profit, check out the DroneU. It's the largest library of drone courses not only drone courses, but taught from experience. So check them out. My name is Paul and I do these videos because honestly, I see so much crap on the internet and I want you to have the real, no BS, no holds barred. Hey, I learned this from actually doing it in the field among with the other 26 instructors that I have. And honestly, we just wanna help you. We write college curriculums here, university curriculums. You don't need to pay $50,000 for a drone degree when you can learn it all in a year, all right? So check it out, the drone you. Let me know what you think below, honestly, there's a lot of cool drone jobs, you know, that are kind of coming out. People are getting hired for drone delivery at Drone Up, and they're getting hired to do a lot of wicked cool agricultural jobs with things like Tyrannus. In all honesty, there is an opportunity for you. It's just, can you put in the time and the effort to be better than most other people? It just takes time and practice, and you can do it. My name is Paul, and this is Drone UHQ. So tell me what kind of cool drone jobs you guys are doing in the comments. I Honestly, love to know because there's new stuff every day. But anyway, let me know what you thought about this video. Thanks for joining me.